Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I'm back in Markarth to kill Anton Varan. Let's hope this works. Right, so that is the key. Leaving the area. If you can't kill him, go and do some other quest and come back. Don't know how long I have before the alarms go off, or if anybody even cares that their prize chef has been murdered. Looks like I got a bounty though too, but we'll deal with that later. See, these people don't really care. Alright, so our next stop then... The Night Gate Inn. All right, I'm here to kill Balagog Gronolab. You expect me to say that again? On in. Just stoke the fire. Suppose it's a here. what the hell? Oh, well, Look at off. this. How are you so large, you Ebony mean? Warrior? What the hell? Now you're mine. What the hell is going on in here? Look at this. And he shrunk back to normal size. Who are these people that you just killed? Hmm. You just killed the people that worked here. What? Anyhow, let me go and look for this Balagrob. 
granola. I'm not even going to pretend that I know what's going on here. Sorry, Balagrob. Balagog. Sorry. Don't even know your name. Um, how do I get the writ of passage? Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. Alright, now I'm supposed to hide this body, or... See, where could we hide it? Maybe back here? Doesn't look hidden. Uh, is there some place else I could put it? There's really no place anybody could just walk through here. Drag the body to a hiding place. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, this is good. believe that person in there that grew to giant size and, and slew the, the workers. Alright, uh... Shadow Mirror is not here. Must have come out the back entrance. Alright, but anyhow, let's go and report back to Festus. So the prodigal murderer returns, and the gourmet dead. So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. You would expect any less? from the listener. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment. And 
A little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. All right, it sounds good to me. So what is this Night Weaver's Band? I need to check this out. I'd imagine under apparel, maybe? Sneaking is 10% more effective. Destruction spells. I'll put it on. Not that I use destruction spells. Alright, let's see what Astrid's got for me. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. So it's time. We're ready to assassinate the Emperor? Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. The Emperor will die for Sithis and the Night Mother. Yes, for Sithis and the Night Mother. You are the listener after all, hmm? So let's not waste any more time. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Which poison should I use? Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. <laughs> Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. What else can you tell me about Jaren root? It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable, cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death, so don't even think about it. Anything else before I set off? It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster. But I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Stay safe. All right, let's go. The Emperor's cousin killed. Right here in solitude, I feel nothing but shame. And you speak to me not even knowing that I'm the one that pushed the gargoyle down on her head. You should see me when you get bored. Okay. Um How do we want to do this? All right, I think it's time to use an illusion spell. But now I am the gourmet. Respect for the Restoration School. Skyrim could use a lot more healers. Here we are. This city is crawling. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. Stop 
Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. I have a writ of passage. I am the gourmet. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers. The gourmet. By Azra. The gourmet. I'm I'm sorry. The clothes, of course. I I should have realized. Please, excuse my ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. Thank you, Commander. On another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. How dare you take that tone with me? On another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. You misunderstand, for I am the Gourmet. The Gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the Gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Yes. Well, I just never expected the Gourmet to be a Breton. It almost seems too obvious. Some of the greatest cooks have been Bretons, and... Enough! The Gourmet is here to cook, not talk. Let us begin. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. Uh, I've taken the liberty of getting it. It's my favorite. Started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Oh, I get it. This is a test, right? You want to see how well I know the potage le magnifique. Well, then, I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick, right? Hmm. Now what? That sounds good. Now you must add a splash of mead. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. All right, what next then? One Nern root. Really? Oh, I use Nin root as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful. Nern root. Okay. Nern now root. What? Diced horker meat. Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? There is one final ingredient. Here, add this. Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might- It's my secret ingredient. Stop questioning me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right then, your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Hmm. That's one way of looking at it. I better activate my cloak of invisibility. I'm sure I'm going to have to make a hasty escape. It's too bad I couldn't get her to taste it. And then I would bring this up here to the Emperor. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. 
We'll go in just a moment. Please, all sir, you just stand there and be amazing. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one, now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It, I, I think something's wrong. I. By the gods, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor. Get them! What? No, no, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. I. Ah! Ah! Well, that was simple enough. Can't move. That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. It would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. And make sure there's nothing left to bury. There's someone there. How do they... Wow, interesting. See if I can just sneak through with him. Mm. And there's always my ring. Can't get any sneakier than that. can get out of here as a chef they're probably looking for me I think it's time to use some more illusion magic all right let's go Well, the Emperor was an imposter, but he's dead. And now I have to contend with some really bad news. It's time to go back to the Brotherhood Sanctuary and see what has befallen my family. Until next time.